Okay, so got to the end of uh, Dr. Louise Marler and Jules, and um, we've just trimmed that off at the very end. So here we just hear the outro. The famous Marla that's the um, composer. Mm, probably could be. No idea. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you so you. much. Okay. That's the end for us. So now we just do a skate back to the beginning of the file. So skip to the start. Okay. Now we probably just want to take off this three, two, one start as well and just go right to the beginning of the interview. Three, two, one. Dr. Lu there we go. So we'll just trim off the, the counting and leave ourselves a second at the head. Beautiful. Now what we want to do is just have a bit of a listen to the relative volume. Now we've taken um, each out of the other's recording. We just want to listen to the relative volume of the two voices. So we'll just have a listen here. Dr. Louise Marler, I am so excited to have you on this. I love saying Dr. Louise Marler. Um, but let's just start off with um, what it is that you do these days. Tell us about your business. Oh, great, Jules. Well, I am excited to be here. And I help people be heard. Right. Well, that's very succinct. But can you tell us in a little bit more detail what actually, how that actually translates into the real world business? Yes. So how it translates is that I look at people's body language and their voice and how they get their voice out of their body. Okay. So I think we've just had to bring Louise up. We've taken her up to um, um, point, you know, plus three decibels just to bring her up a little bit more. I think Jules was just a little bit louder than Louise. So we've just brought Louise up a little bit. Okay. Now we can combine these two files together. So this is our first mixing stage. So again, highlight both of the both of the tracks together. Then we go up to the tracks menu and click on mix. And then we want to mix and render to a new track. So wherever possible, we'll just keep the um, bits and pieces we've collected along the way, just in case we need to go backwards in the process for whatever reason, some disaster. So mix and render to a new track. And down the bottom, we'll find that this is, if we now click solo for this track for the mix, it should be both voices together. So we can test that quite easily just by going to the end of one of Jules' sentences. We translate into the real world business. Yes. So how it translates. There we go. Okay. So we've now got both of the tracks down onto a single one. So what is left to do now is to add a top and tail to the recording. But before we do that, um, we really are in a position where we should be saving this file. And Audacity saves things as projects. So if we go up to the file menu and we say save project. Now we're just going to check to make sure we're in the right folder. Yes, Dr. Louise Marler. Now I, I normally just name the project after the interviewee. So Louise Marler, like so, and click save. And that's going to save all of those artifacts that, uh, that we've collected when, once we, um, during the time that we've been playing around with these audio files and doing all the cutting and edit, editing and mixing. Obviously, you don't want to have to do that all over again. So save early, save often is a pretty good strategy. Okay, so the file is now saved. So again, just going back to um, where I jumped to before, we want to add um, an intro and an outro. Now, once you've been doing this for a while, um, it's usually just as easy to open up one of the previous recordings and just copy the top and tail from the previous one. So if I just go to open, file open, and I'm going to look for another one. And I think let's try Candice DeVille. And we'll just open up Candice's interview. And we did record these. Uh, one of the great things about podcasts is that, generally speaking, most podcasts will have a pre-recorded intro and a pre-recorded outro. So rather than having to uh, get the host to repeat the same script every time, which some which some hosts do um, prefer to do, actually, it sort of kind of gets them into the groove and and um, and started and on for the episode. But in Jules' case, we pre-recorded all of these. 
So right at the very beginning, you'll notice this also says mix. This is where the podcast ends up. I'll just play the intro for you just so you get a feel for it. Hi, and welcome to She's the Boss Chats. I'm your host, Jules Brooke, and in the show, I interview amazing women and female founders about what it is that they're doing and why they're doing it. It's all about us lifting up the women around us. I will stop that right there, and Giuseppe, you would recognise that little tune running in the background, being the composer of it. So we just highlight and copy this into the Louise Marler episode just here at the front. So again, just, oops, oh, careful, that wasn't the beginning. Go back, skip back to the start, and then just highlight that one second lead that we had, lead silence, and then control V to paste that in. Goodness me, just ignore all of that. Sorry about that. So by using the shift key and this little um, plus magnifying glass, you can actually zoom in and out vertically on the sound wave. Sorry, I didn't show you that, so in inadvertently taught you that bit. All right, so if we just go to the end of the intro. Dr. Louise Marler, I am so... There we go, that sounds pretty good. Then skate to the end. Going back to Candice DeVille and skating to the end of Candice DeVille. Just move backwards a little bit here until we find the beginning of the outro. Ooh, it's going to be a bit hard to pick, isn't it? Let's see. Ka app from any of the app stores. So Apple and Android, and they've got an app that is for your phone, for your iPad or tablet, and for the smart TV. Or you could join us for our free Zoom. Oh, no, she's still talking about it, sorry. Where are we here? Ah, found the end. So here's the end of the interview. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Okay, we've got the outro music just fading in there. So I'll we'll grab all of that through to the end of the file. And copy it. And back to Louise Marla and paste it right on at the end there, like so. So just to replay the end. <coughs> Probably up. could be. No idea. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you so you. much. And to the outro. Now, what I normally do with this final mix before I finish with it, uh, Giuseppe, is we will highlight the entire file again, and I'll just run the limiter over the file again. Because we bumped Louise's um, gain up or her volume up a little bit, there could have been some spots where she might exceed the... Um, exceed the uh, the minus 4 dB limit. So we'll just run that again. It's a bit of a black art getting the um, volume balance right. So let's hear who, who's talking here. Really appreciate you spending the time with me today to uh, tell us a little bit about your journey. So if, if anyone wants to get hold of you, what's the best way of doing that just before we finish? I'm terribly easy to find because I've, my website is Louise Marler, M-A-H. There we go. So Louise is sounding a little bit louder than she was at the beginning of the recording, but that's quite natural during podcast interviews for people to get warmed up and get louder and more excited and that sort of stuff. So I'd be, I'd be passing that one. Okay, the final stage is to highlight the entire mix and then to go to the file menu, click export and export selected audio. And we choose the folder where we want to save it into, which is customer, back to Jules Brook, back to She's the Boss podcast, and then we're looking for the Louise Marla folder. There it is. And we're going to save it as Louise Marla dot MP3. Um, these presets are important here too. Um, Bitmate Road is sorry, bit, road, bit rate mode, I always have trouble saying that, 
should be constant. Uh, the quality should be a minimum of 192 kilobytes per second. That's a sampling rate. Uh, this won't be settable. And then channel mode is to force export to mono. We've got, um, we could put up an argument for stereo podcast files, but essentially um, it's a little bit like a bass guitar or a lead guitar. Um, you've got one signal coming out of the instrument. So, um, uh, you know, it's not like you're recording drums or anything. So mono is fine. Click save. Uh, you can add some um, MP3 tags to the file if you want to. In the case of podcasts, I don't bother. I just click clear and then click OK. Oh, interesting. We've got a resample of the project rate. 16 bit rate of 192 combination, not supported by MP3. You may resample to one of the rates below. OK, so if this ever happens to you, 44100 is the standard we use. Click OK. And that's going to make it happy. And as we watch the MP3 file being generated, I think we'll probably leave it there and uh, come back in the next section as to uh, how we might um, begin the next phase, which is about uh, putting the blog post together for, um, for publication.